Two of Macomb County's highest ranking elected officials stepped in front of the cameras to address the sinkhole crisis in Frazier. And a lot of people waiting for answers in that city. Nick Monticelli has been busy tonight. He's standing by with what we've learned. Well, much of the conversation here in Frazier today revolved around who is going to pay for this. How are they going to pay for this with federal, state, even local money? But also a part of that conversation, will they take care of the homeowners who have been displaced? This is day nine of the Fraser sinkhole nightmare. We have an interesting story that's unfolding here, as, as you all know. And finally, we are getting some real answers on the big picture questions. Candace Miller officially took over Macomb County's public works today and says she will be taking a good look at the busted sewer pipe that caused this. So the pipe itself is suspect, I guess you could say. Uh, and then uh, to add injury to uh, insult to injury there, the pipe, I think, was installed in some very poor soil conditions. On Christmas Eve, this home started falling into the sinkhole caused by a busted sewer line. It's an 11 foot pipe, 45 feet underground, that cracked and is leaking raw sewage, which eroded the ground, causing the sinkhole. But it's had problems twice before in 1978 and in 2004. It has been inspected, but maybe the last time was in 2010. But if you've already had a red flag on the field twice with a particular pipe, maybe you ought to inspect it more than that. One of the major questions, who is going to pay for all of this? That's yet to be determined, maybe through federal, state, and definitely local funds, though. Homeowners were there themselves to find out, will they be taken care of financially? They're gonna come our way. I don't suspect that the homeowners are going to be left out in the dark without having somebody pay for the damage that was done to their homes. I seriously think you're going to see whether it's the county, whether it's the district, uh, somehow they're going to be recouped for those costs. The actual work continues around the clock with water being pumped out of the ground and bypass pumps going in. Inside of the command center, plans are constantly evolving. But you can see some good news. An access road to get residents back onto Aberline has finally been created. That's needed because their only way in or out is gone. Now, one important note for Macomb County residents, they are still asking you to conserve water the best you can because all of that water, once used, comes through these pipes along 15 mile road. So the most they can do to limit the flow here, the better off this entire project is going to be. In Fraser, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.